In this video, we're going to talk about embedding multimedia in your pages and posts. But before we get into that, I'd like to draw your attention here to the dashboard. As we've been building the site, the dashboard has gotten filled with more and more content, and now we have more good information. Here we can see recently published posts, recent comments, and in at a glance, we can see that we have four posts, four comments, and five pages. As we continue to build out the site, more and more information will be gathered here in the dashboard, and it will become more valuable. So we'll take a look at that later on in the series. But for now, let's go put some media in our posts. We're going to have an event. We're going to show movies in the park. We're going to show the movie Big Buck Bunny, an animated show for people of all ages. We're not going to choose a format. We're not going to do an excerpt, but we are going to have events and put it in the subcategory movies. No trackbacks or tags or custom fields, but we will leave discussion on. And we'll add a featured image. And we'll put in some alt text for those who are hard of seeing. And there we go. So now let's put the movie right here in our post. We click Add Media, Upload Files, and then we find our movie. And there's our movie. Now we have some attachment display setting options here. We can embed a media player, or we can link to the media file or to an attachment page. Either of the two links simply make links, and we don't want that. We actually want to show the movie. So we're going to embed the media player here. And now let's hit Publish. And we'll view the post. There's our movie poster, our text, and we can click. We have the option to go full screen and back out. We can change volume. We can simply mute. And we can pause. You can place as many videos in a poster page as you wish. And if we go back here to the editor and click it, you'll see there's a pencil we have some additional options. We could choose some alternate sources for maximum HTML5 playback. We could preload, auto, metadata, or none. We can choose to autoplay, which I don't recommend. And we can choose to loop, which again, I don't recommend. Here we can choose a poster image for the video. And that puts it in the video container, just like that. So now if we update and reload, rather than the black box, we actually have a poster inside the player. So that's great for video, but what about audio? Let's go back to our posts. We have a classic rock concert in the park. Let's edit that. And then let's put some audio in here. So I'm going to click Upload Files. And we'll choose some Leonard Skinner for our classic rock. And we'll choose six songs. And 
And I don't know if you noticed, but while they were uploading, the Create Audio Playlist option appeared. Also, the metadata from the audio was pulled in from the MP3 files and pre-filled over here. So let's click Create Audio Playlist. And these are the songs that I just uploaded. So I'm going to click Create a New Playlist. And now I could reorder these simply by dragging them around. I can show a track list, the artist name in the track list, and optionally images. And now we'll click Insert Audio Playlist. And it looks like this. So now let's click Update and view our post. Now, because this image is floated to the right, our audio player looks a little funny. So I'll show you how we can fix that. But for now, we can play Freebird. We can change songs. We can mute. We can adjust the volume. All sorts of things. And then if we go back to our post and click it, we can click the pencil and change some things. So let's not show the artist name in the track list since it's the same everywhere. Update and reload. And now we have only the song titles. Now the fact that this is not pushed below the image is actually related to the theme. Some themes will do this properly. So to make sure the audio player stays below the image on the front end as well, I'm simply going to hit enter until I see it move a little bit. And then click update and reload. And there we are. Now one more thing I want to show you, if you switch over to text, you can see that the playlist is simply a shortcode very similar to the image gallery we looked at earlier. And having artists be hidden is just a little flag. The video embed works the same way. It's just a plain text tag. But when you switch to visual, you can see it right in the player. So to sum up, you can place both audio and video directly into your posts. They embed very smoothly. In actuality, they're just a short code. But they can add so much to your site. And fortunately, the built-in players are very full-featured. You can do anything you want with them.